Hello, welcome to Anne Marie Sews. I'm Anne Marie, and this is Benji, our VIP, who has come to join us today. Yeah, um, yeah because we have got a So Hayley Jane unboxing for you. So I have taken the parcel wrapper off just so that I don't flash the address. And here is the lovely box. So they have changed the uh, packaging ever so slightly so it used to just be a sticker um, but now we've got this little sleeve which is brilliant because it makes the box reusable which is great in the lead up to Christmas. What are we going to do then Benji? Oh we're going to explore the parcel. <laughs> yeah you make friends with that parcel, good boy. Um, so normally I would subscribe to the mini box but because I have my birthday this month, I thought I would um, upgrade to the classic box, um, which is just a little bit more money, but um, you get a bit more in there, or you get a larger amount of fabric, which means I don't have the challenge of trying to find something to make with just one metre this month. Um, yeah, I've just noticed, you can see Benji has got a wee PI. Um, he, has had many uh, infections in his eyes over the summer but he is okay um, and obviously we are monitoring this because we don't want it don't want him in any pain but at the moment he is fine um, but he is blind as well so um, bless him he does struggle a bit do you want to go back to the bed go on then Okay, I will carry on with the unboxing now that Benji has decided to go and sit on the bed. He is just behind me, he might make another appearance. Let's just slip that off. And put that down there. Okay, so we have got to get into the box. I just struggle to work out where to put this. That uh, It's easy to get to, but I don't flash all of the... Um, contents to you. So what I might do is just put down here. So we've got it's all wrapped in sorry it's wrapped in um, yellow tissue paper. My um, tissue paper has slipped slightly in the post so I'm not going to hold it up because otherwise you can see what's in there. Um, we will start off with the very first thing in there is the uh, So Hayley Jane magazine and the focus this month is Hocus Pocus which is very apt for October and this is box number 47. So let's move on to, we have got a um, card in here, it's about A5 size and it's Signs of the Zodiac. And it's got like your sewing machine, tape measure, scissors, um, pin cushion, all those sorts of things on there. There you go. And then in the classic box, you get four fat quarters. So we've got this one. I love this. This is beautiful. Look at those kitties in the windows. So you've got all of those different shaped windows with beautiful kitty black kitties in there so we've got some that are walking around like that one there you've got ones like the one up here that is sitting in the window and then i've just seen oh you've got one there look that is playing with the plant pot in the window cheeky kitty and i'm sure i just saw there was one yeah look one there that's asleep in the window how beautiful is he um so that's like a nice it's not showing up the right sort of color it's like an emeraldy green it's looking on the camera like it's a bit more teal but it's definitely green i love that i'm not sure what i'm going to make with it um i really struggle with the fat quarters what to make but that is absolutely beautiful i love that that fat quarter i do feel like i've seen it somewhere before and i think i was actually going to buy some of it but i can't think where i found it 
Okay, then we have got, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what Ben she's up to in the background. Is that in your way? Is that better? <clears throat> oh, then we've got big cats. So this is a pink flat quarter with like a jungly theme. And we've just got cat faces in there. Oh, I say big cats actually. They are pet cats, aren't they? Got a little white cat face there. And then we've got this black cat face. The way it was folded, I just saw the black uh, black one and this one. I thought they were going to be big cats. There we go. And then we've got this grey one and this one here look at him there's no benjis on here though there's no just ginger kitties but again it's lovely fabric love that love the cats oh this box is making me really happy i love it. i do love cats a lot um and then actually I also have quite a few houseplants and I've got a couple of them that sit in the window and Benji did used to sit in the window quite a lot but now he's blind he doesn't so much but we do have some houseplants and here is it's a nice like baby blue colour and we've got um, different colour plant pots we've got pink ones white grey blue with different patterns on them and different types of plants I don't know that all of their names but I know that this one here it's called a snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue yes lovely i love that that might be a nice um like if you were giving a, a plant as a gift like a little bag little gift bag to sit the pot in would be quite nice in fact that might be what that turns into and then <laughs> We've got some very playful kitties here. And we've got this. This is on like a creamy background. And we've got um, them with their play, their scratching tower. So we've got a little ginger cat here with his scratching tower. This little white and grey one here sitting on a laptop. I love that. Benji does sit on our um, laptops quite a bit actually. Um, when he wants our attention and we're working then we've got a little grey one here playing with some food and then this one here look at that cat playing in the grass it's like it's having so much fun and then you've got all of the house plants on there still and i love that set of our quarters and these little paw prints how cute are these They are possibly the best fat quarters I've had. I love them. I actually can't wait to use these ones. Normally, I, the uh, fat quarters, I'm a bit like, I'm not sure. Because there's not an awful lot of material there, and I tend to do dressmaking, so, um, and I'm not a person for pockets. So normally, they don't get used. But these ones, are, they're going to have to be used. I absolutely love them. They can't just sit there. Um, actually, you can just see in the uh, corner. Here. <laughs> there it is. Just here. That's my stack of uh, fat quarters there. Right. Then we have got the sweet treat is a drumstick. You enjoy that later. And then we, uh, one of the little gifts is spiced pumpkin latte. Um, I believe these are wax melts. But they do smell nice. Let's open it and let's see. Like I've had this like type of packaging before. I'm sure it was uh, wax melts. like in a wax bag. There they are. Oh, let's 
can't get it to focus. I can't get it to focus anyway. It's a lovely flower shape on there. They do smell delicious. Oh, and then this one is a slightly different flower shape. It's a rose. They do smell a lot. I don't like latte, but they smell good. They just smell really sweet. All right, and then the piece of, oh, I don't know how you say that. Anyway, <laughs> um, then you've got this pur purple thread showing up very pink, but it is purple. I promise you it is like almost Cadbury's purple. Um, number 718, so that gives you a clue as to the fabric. And that is, I do love purple. It's always been one of my favorite colors. And here is the beautiful fabric. So it feels like it's a cotton, I'm guessing a cotton poplin. And obviously, um, with this being the classic box, there is, I think it's two and a half meters you get. I'll double check that in a moment. And it's got this lovely geometric print. I love this, this is gorgeous. Oh, do you know what? This is actually one of my favorite boxes. It is I love this box. So I don't know, like obviously having two and a half meters, there's so much more I can make from it. I recently made the uh, Sabina skirt by Little Pomegranate, and I think that this would make a lovely um, Sabina skirt because it is, you can see, it is quite drapey, so it would be nice for that. But the last one I made was. Um, out of a viscose that was also from a So Haley Jane, which I think is like, it's obviously a bit lighter weight. Um, but I don't know, that could be worn through the seasons, couldn't it? So possibly a Sabina skirt. But then I don't like to make the same thing all the time. I'll have to have a think. But if you've got any, if this fabric is screaming anything out to you, you think, oh yeah, you should make whatever, pop it in the co comments below, because I'd love to know your ideas. Um, yeah, that might appear in a plans video very soon. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that there. We'll go back to the magazine. I just need a little slurp of my tea. Oh, it was, I've still got the sticker on the bottom. So I mentioned a bit earlier that it was my birthday recently and one of my friends from work got me this mug. I love it. And she was really nervous with me when I when she gave the present to me because um, we were at school and there was kids around and she's like, please be careful, one of them is broke, breakable. So, yes, I love it. Um, oh. Okay, so there was meant to be something else in the box. There's just a little note there saying that um, there was meant to have been some stickers from the designer Samantha Claridge in the box, but they were unable to get them done in time. So that's, uh, she's put the Zodiac um, poster in there. Um, sign of the Zodiac illustration, perfect for displaying in your sewing space. So we've got the um, forward from Hayley. In this bit, she tells you a bit about um, how she came up with the theme. Um, so she's been doing them for six years, but she's, this is the first time she's ever done a Halloween theme. Um, but it's not too Halloween. Like if you don't do Halloween at all, then this box is, fine but like, I can't imagine that you could be offended by you know like some people just don't do Halloween do they and they might be offended by some things but I can't see that you could be you've got some playful cats I mean you've obviously got this um geometric print which is quite yeah, it's quite general it's not um like witches and ghouls and things all over it so I can't imagine that that anybody could be, you know, some people don't like Halloween at all. Um, so we've got an interview there with Samantha Claridge. I don't want to uh, read the whole thing because obviously um, 
I will enjoy that later with a cup of tea. But there's a bit about the stickers that she was designing in there, a bit about um, her brand, how it's evolved, how she sees it evolving. Um, then we have got the make of the month. So this is um, Sonia and she's used August fat quarters to make the bodice of a self-drafted dress. Oh, wow, that's really clever. Oh, I think don't think that um, <laughs> I I don't feel that um the fat quarters are possibly big enough for me. But what a clever idea! So she's used there was a black with white spots that she's used for the front bodice there, and then there was like a pebbly looking uh fat quarter that she's used for the back bodice, and then. She's obviously used like a gingham for the skirt and then for the uh, button placket she's used that same gingham. That's really clever. I love that idea. Joe, you know what I am actually going to have to see now if I've got any pattern pieces that would fit onto fat quarters because that would be really good if I could manage to get like a bodice to go with a, like another fabric. So I'm going to have to check, because that is a very clever idea. Um, then we have got Page Turner. I'm not sure. I think that's a new feature in here. It is quite a chunky magazine this month, actually. So if you're already looking ahead to the festive season, looking for the perfect gift for a sewing friend, then one of these books could be just the thing. So she's got some sewing books there that she recommends. Um, I have got the um, Tilly and the Buttons like no, that one the tilling the buttons stretch book um which i love i've made the loads of frayers from it and a couple of the bibby pinafore skirts like not the actual pinafore but just the skirt version um i am really interested in getting this ahead of the curve book because um the cashmere do um patterns for different bust cup sizes and so there's a lot less like alterations needed for it so I am very tempted by that book um, and getting the fit right because obviously I spend so much time worrying about the um, bust adjustments that um, I don't worry about other uh, adjustments which obviously this one will help with the other adjustments and if you've got ones in, in bust cups already then that's better. Um, this Serena Sews one looks good as well. Um, right, then we've got the feature, the three boxes, three makes. So there's three ladies that get a box each. They get a different one each time. So one gets the mini, one gets the classic, and one gets the luxury. Um, and then they make something to put in the magazine and write up about it. So Esther has got the mini box. And she's used the cotton poplin to make the Deer and Doe Melliot shirt. And that is beautiful. I love that. How gorgeous is that shirt? I think I need to find that pattern because I have got a couple of um, like poplins and viscoses that have come from other mini boxes that I've not used yet. That I think would be perfect for that she's managed to make it out of the one meter that comes in the mini box so I might have to have a look uh, just looking to see if she's had to use like for facings or anything she's had to use something else I mean it wouldn't be a problem because I have a fair few fat quarters I could use for facings um, if I was using a cotton if I'm using a viscose, I'm, I just have to use a remnant from something else. But that's beautiful. I love, love that. Um, right, and then we've got Gemma has got the um, luxury box this month. And there's a Lady McElroy fabric in there. I hope I'm saying that right. And that's the Cobra Corsage, I think it's called. Um, and she's made a maxi version of the Lyra dress. Um, yes, 
that is beautiful and again great for halloween but actually it's still just a lovely fabric even if it wasn't a halloween thing um and then laura has got the classic box and she has made a quilted jacket the Havaya jacket which is beautiful so that obviously shows that the fabric comes in more than one colorway that's a really nice color that um greeny color but and i do love that that greeny color but i do love the purple too i think um oh, well i'm definitely happy with my purple but i would have been happy either way with that one and then we've got tamlin's um fat quarter makes so she gets the fat quarters ahead of the box being released and she makes up um, something with the fat quarters and then sends it off to Hayley to be put in the magazine and she is making these cute little pumpkins they are gorgeous but I don't want my cats to be turned into pumpkins but they are very cute I do actually have an orange with white polka dot fat quarter that would be perfect for that so i might actually have a go at making one of those it is half term the week after next so just before halloween so that would be perfect to make a little halloween decoration um and she gives such good instructions for these they're amazing um and then her and um hey well Hayley also does a sew along for it as well um, she started doing recently then we've got the makes gallery so um amanda has sent in a picture of some um dungarees that she's made and it says on there it's going to get messy and um, then we've got down here um somebody called ruth has made a jumper dress using the uh waffle knit that was in the last month's box um and that's the uh peppermint magazine jersey dress it does look really cozy um suzanne has um used the fat quarters the same fat quarters that um esther used is it esther no not esther oh that um sonia used to make that dress so uh suzanne's used those same fat quarters there to make um the two quilted placemats and some toys and two jars of oh so sorry wait a minute let me read that uh so Suzanne got all of this out of four fat quarters she used the abstract jungle fat quarters from august to make two quilted pet food mats yeah and a couple of pet toys and two jars of reusable wipes oh wow that's very good um and then Lucy has made the Maeve skirt and she's used the gold foil suns that was in the January's classic box, which is this one here. Oh, There's a nice skirt actually. In fact, I wonder if um, the Maeve skirt would be good for this fabric. And then Ready Steady Style, I've seen this one on Instagram actually. She's made a really nice jumper um, for her the jackson pullover i don't think i've heard of that one before but jackson pullover for her and the strawberry sweatshirt for her little one um the strawberry sweatshirt is a sew over a poppy and jazz pattern and then the uh subscriber profile is oh, this lovely lady here this is sewing in scottish um Hayley from Sewing in Scottish, she's got a YouTube channel which I watch um, and there are some gorgeous makes there that uh, she's used and um, so Hayley Jane fabric for. I love that dress, it's gorgeous. Um, and then we've got pattern picks from the fold line. Um, they've suggested the Marnie blouse from Tilly and the Buttons. The Lunar Lounge set by Jennifer Lauren Handmade and the Everyday Waistcoat by The New Craft House. I'm just going to cover that bit up because there is a discount code there. There you go. 
and then so the luxury box gets the patterns it must be from size me pat uh, patterns um so there's a little bit about size me patterns and um they're doing a sewing retreat in france there's a bit of information there about that and an illustration there of uh, the pattern that is included in the box um the vn blouse it does look very nice i might have to look at that one um and then Haley's little links she has put in hocus pocus 2 which i am going to try and watch next week i think not next week week after when it's half term uh fast family food is her book recommendation um dove and dove curve blouse by megan nielsen i've not seen that one before and then uh Hayley has done a vlog on the Marnie dress by Tilly and the, Tilly and the Buttons. I've not seen this one before, this um, blouse, but I quite like the look of that. So what's in the box? The mini box had one metre of the cotton, um, three of the Curious Cats fat quarters, um, the Gutterman thread, the wax melts, the magazine and the uh, drumstick. The classic box has got two and a half metres of the cotton, um, four of the fat quarters, two uh, wax melts, the gutterman thread, the, um, no, not that, <laughs> I can't think what we call it, the um, sewing, signs of the zodiac uh, print, obviously that was swapped out, um, and the uh, drumstick lolly. And then the luxury box had 3.3 metres of the Lady McElroy Cobra Corsage Visco Chalet Lawn. Uh, five of the Fat Quarters. Um, the Vienne Blouse by So Me. The uh, Wax Melts. The Thread. The Print. And just the Drumstick Glory. So there we go. So I will enjoy reading that properly later with a cup of tea. I am going to just pop that inside there so I don't lose it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I am ready, going to get ready now to go to London with some sewing friends. The plan was to go to Goldhawk Road today, but um, we're not sure at the moment because one of the ladies has got COVID. So we... Um, might not go we might leave that until she can go as well um but we'll we'll make our decision probably on the way there to be honest um but i'll message the other ladies in a minute and see what the plan of action is but we might pop along to one of the other sewing shops in london instead today so thank you very much for watching thank you very much benji for appearing in our video and then sleeping in our video i'm sure the viewers really appreciate Benji sleeping in the background. <laughs> um, thank you very much. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you very much if you are already subscribed. Um, hit that like and I will see you again very soon. Bye.